Hi guys, um, I'm not super enthusiastic right now, but um, the Lord put me uh, put a verse into my heart that I had actually read before, and I think it's actually really crazy. So um, Hezekiah, the king um, at the time for Israel, was um, he was getting threatened. He had a he had a kingdom, um, and he worshipped God, and he was good to God, and he he had he was good in the eyes of the Lord. And um, there was a king of Assyria who was threatening um, Hezekiah. And this is what it says in Second Kings 19. And um, let me find it real quick. I'm, I apologize. This is what he said. Thus, thus shall you speak to Hezekiah, king of Judah. Do not let your God in whom you trust deceive you by promising that Jerusalem will not be given into the king of Israel or Assyria. Behold, you have heard what the kings of Assyria have done to all the lands, devoting them to destruction. Shall you be delivered? Have the gods of the nations delivered them? There are other gods. They worship other gods. Um, have they delivered them, the nations that my fathers destroyed, Gozan, Haran, uh, Rezif, and the people of Eden who were in uh, Telassar? Where is the king of Hamath, the king of Arphad, the king, and the king of the city of um, I'm not, uh, Sepharvaim, the king of Hena, and the king of Iva? So basically he was dis um, disrespecting God and basically saying that I destroyed all these other gods, so what is your God going to do to me? And this is what the Lord said. Therefore, it's, thus says the Lord concerning the king of Assyria. So this is like a little time after. This says the king of Assyria. He shall not come into the city or shoot an arrow here or come before it with the shield or cast a besieged mound against it. But the way that he came by the, uh, by the same way he shall return and he shall not come into the city, declares the Lord. For I will defend the city to save it for my own sake and for the sake of my servant David. Um, so he was, he was lineage to David. This is in second Kings. So this is the, um, part of the old Testament where they talk about Kings and basically saying the Lord says that, um, you're nothing is going to happen to you and I'm going to completely destroy them. And when I talk about angels on my Snapchat story and other things, this is what I mean. This is where I get this from. The angels are so powerful. Listen to this, listen to this. And that night he's the Lord, the Lord sent an angel of the Lord and went out and struck down 185,000 people in the camp of the Assyrians. And when the people arose early in the morning, and when the people, were, uh, they walked out, and behold, they were all dead bodies. And then they just like left. And he was worshiping in the house of, um, and then the king got struck down um, in his own house where he's praying to other gods. So like, this is what I mean when I say that the Lord gets his own vengeance. He sent one angel and he killed 185,000 people in one night. This is this is the power of God. One angel killed 185,000 people. So when I say something or someone else say, says something, like let God take care of it, this is what it means. This is what it looks like when God takes care of stuff. He sends one angel and kills 185,000 people. And he, he did what he said. There was no, there was, they, didn't even, <laughs> they didn't even leave to go attack him. This is what happens when other people disrespect our God. This is what happens. Now, I don't think he does this much anymore, but the Lord, he's still the same. I don't think he's going to send an angel to kill 185,000 people, but this is what it means when God gets his vengeance. This is what it looks like. This is what God's power looks like. Just like picture that 185,000 people, God's glory and his faithfulness is, we, we, we can't even comprehend. I, I, I'm having a hard time comprehending it as well. So, um, Y'all can go look this. This is uh look look at this. This is in Second Kings nineteen, uh verse thirty two, um and verse um ten, and it goes on, um and uh, this is, I, I'm I I've lost I'm lost for words. So um that's all I have to say really about this. Um God's power is just it reigns supreme over anybody else's. So I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I hope y'all um take this um and just. I just think about it when um, when you're contemplating, oh, whether uh, you should give up the faith. Um, God is always going to provide. And when he says something, he means that he's not a God that shall lie. And um, yeah, I mean, that's it. So uh, praise God. Um, yeah. Have a great day.